If you think dreams don't come true, then maybe tonight is the right time to meet someone who, with her talent, hard work and perseverance, has managed to not just fulfill her dreams, but also create a mark for herself. My guest tonight is a writer, a poet, a public speaker, a philanthropist and an award-winning actress, Dana Tajani. There's little that this Arab girl can't do. Dana realized her passion for acting at a young age. She began her acting career in Chicago before moving to Dubai in 2011, where she got appreciated for her stage and screen work. In less than six years in the UAE, Dana made her mark and won numerous awards for her contribution in the world of performing arts. I sat down with her to know more about her creative journey. Were you always inclined towards uh, the arts and you know culture and theatre? Were you always like that as a child? Yeah, I mean the first show that I was involved in, I was a narrator in our kindergarten play, which is okay. about the um, the hat salesman and the monkeys in the tree who take all of his hats. Okay. I was I was a narrator, but it didn't really start as theatre. It started as speaking. Okay, I love to read out loud. And I love to write. Mm -hmm. And so that was the kind of storytelling that I did. And that transitioned into a love of theater mm -hmm. from those small roles, usually as the narrator, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it evolved. And in high school, it became a great passion. And my parents were like, don't think that you can study theater because you will not study theater. <laughs> they were just like, get it out of your head. I know. You'll be an engineer or you'll oh, be yeah, a lawyer. Of course, or you'll be of course. Something something profound and meaningful to society, but I think that the arts are incredibly profound. Absolutely, you actually are changing and touching lives through your art, isn't it? I always felt that. I, I feel every TV, every episode is touching lives, and so I feel great about it. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> this is connection. It's exactly. human connection, it's reflection, it's, you know, when we leave work, we put a CD on in the car, we get home, we open the TV, yeah. we want to chill, we go out to the movies, we go see live music, like, exactly. this is our, human release. It, totally, totally. And you're, you know, when you give that uh, an opportunity to people to entertain themselves, it's, it's a great way to really live your purpose. You came to Dubai six years back mm -hmm. and uh, as we were discussing before we started the interview that things were very different at that time. Mm -hmm. There wasn't really, I mean, I've been living here for 18 years, so I know the the art scene is evolving mm -hmm. uh, slowly, but it's getting but there. Surely. But surely, but surely. And that's how we, people, we have people like you all in the city now really making a difference in that scene. What were your thoughts at that time? Were you uh, intimidated? Were you disappointed? And how far have you come? So I came here and I thought, where's my tribe? I felt really lonely. I felt like Dubai was super business driven yes. and that I had to really put on a thick outer shell and toughen up, otherwise I was Absolutely. never going to make it Commerce, here. commerce, commerce. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was all about the bottom line yeah. and quotations and contracts. And here's this, uh, this artist who's just come out of this world of yeah. theater and, and I'm thinking, how do I adjust? One of the first things that I did was um, collaborate with Dubomedy. Mm -hmm. That was a great kind of rooting into the Dubai performing arts scene. And I started to connect with Dubai Drama Group and Drama Dubai and Backstage Theatre and all of the different kind of um, spin-offs mm -hmm. of the theatre community. And, uh, and then I started to make films. Mm -hmm. The first film I did here was a film for Tropfest Arabia. Okay. And I won Best Actress for that film. That's amazing. It was screened on the Corniche in Abu Dhabi in front mm -hmm. of 12,000 people. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, okay, all right. That's, <laughs> I'm accepted in this yeah. community. You know, I, I feel at home. I, that was a very much an initiation for mm -hmm. me into mm -hmm. the UAE art scene. ask uh, one question to people who are um, in the field of arts is how do you marry 
business and art mm. uh, because it's very important to do that to sustain yourself and how did you go about doing that the hardest thing was to put a value on what I do exactly because I don't do it for money I do it because if I didn't do it my heart would break yeah. you know so how do you put a value on that and how do you go about justifying that value to other people correct yeah because you know you and I are, are, are very comfortable speaking but a majority of people in the world would rather die yeah. than speak in public. Right. Um, and we make it look very easy. Yeah. And, and so people, uh, yeah, people aren't quite sure, like, oh, well, yeah, it's, it's very easy. But it took years of cultivating the skill and craft. And it all needs practice. Very interesting you're saying that the other day I was talking to a friend of mine who is a nutritionist and who was asked to speak in front of 1,000 people. And she was like, do you think I need to practice? I said, we all need to practice. Yeah. We need to practice sometimes for six months to give that speech and it looks so effortless because it, it looks like, oh, you've been doing it for like, you know, years. But I mean, it, it's, it's all about how you're working on it. So where are you at right now and how do you see uh, yourself growing uh, into something that you really want to be? Every time people see me, they're like, what, are you still doing a hundred things? <laughs> and I think I'll always be doing a hundred things because I really love poetry as much as I love theater, as much as I love teaching, as much as I love the healing arts and working with the body and working with, with my own energy also. And so it's so diverse, all of my interests. You're curious and you want to Definitely, just, yeah, yeah. Just want to do everything that you can right now. And I absolutely do not accept limitation. <laughs> People are like, choose. No. No. <laughs> Why should I? So I'd like to continue learning. There's so many stereotypes attached to Arab women. Mm. Uh, and then, you know, there are people like you who are really pushing the envelope and really uh, going out of their comfort zones and doing things. Mm. How do you think the the image and the dialogue is changing here? I think it's changing drastically mm. because globally we're noticing the rise of the Arab woman mm. and I think that's very dominant too in the UAE where you see uh, women taking like plenty of roles in both the private and the public sector and um, continuing their education even more than men actually in the mm -hmm. UAE so it's um, you cannot deny that there's a lot of empowerment and a lot of encouragement and um, and then with that will come I think an interesting balance between this kind of um, forward directness mm -hmm. and more open collaboration. I think women tend to like Aikido energy yeah. a lot. They'll take what you offer and then yeah. they'll transform it and then they'll offer it to somebody else somebody to else. also contribute. Yeah. Add to it and then offer it to someone else. Yeah. Which I think is a formula for an incredible global society. Last but not the least, what would be your message to people who would like to follow their dreams into the world of arts? Because a lot of them get into it and get discouraged and you know go back to their nine to five jobs. And a lot of them don't. What the world needs are creative visionaries who are going to build the future, who are going to contribute new stories, new ideas, who are going to innovate and create. And um, and the arts are an incredible way of expression. Way of expressing yourself and reflecting on our human condition. And it's all about the money, but what mm. about love? What mm. about the heart and the soul and the human spirit? So I definitely encourage people to step into that space boldly and know that when they do follow their passion, success comes with that no matter what. It's great to have people like you on the show who uh, is following her dreams and just at it and uh, not letting it go. So I, I know my viewers admire people like you, they get inspired and I love to chat with people like you also. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's been very exciting and, and heartwarming and inspiring for me. So thank you for doing what you do, Uma. Thank it's you, such a pleasure. A pleasure. Yeah.